Josh! You got your receipt! Oh. Oh, Said receipt! Don't go back in there, he's gonna kick your ass! Hey everybody, Roger here. Um, this is the day after my, uh, my, uh, well, not mine, but the live stream I was in on Thomas Ellington's channel with uh, Failure and Bearing. Uh, and I think a little brief, um, not I think, a little brief um, uh, cameo from Sister Danger. And this was recounting the days it took for me to compile my notes in regards to the the conversation that I had with both Sestra and, and uh, uh, Bass Mama, and actually a little bit Jen, and uh, Jen, I apologize, I had accidentally mistook you for the girl with the brown hair wearing the glasses, um, but you were the one with the blue hair, uh, very nice woman, uh, so I apologize for mixing up the names. Anyways, I, uh, I'm pretty sure... When people saw it, there was probably a little bit of shock uh, in regards to like my thoughts, in regards to what my feelings were, and yes, I said feelings. <laughs> uh, but you know, I'm trying to scope it out and trying to feel for like what um, deep down intentions were for for things that happened, and um, and I felt it there, and and uh, you know, I had a mixture of uh, still ambiguity because again you know I was trying to get some answers in regards to you know specific information like accusations you know release PayPal accounts um, I do recall uh, I'm sorry base mama saying that uh, the taxes will be public uh, so that could be looked up I'm pretty sure obviously that's valid uh, but you know a lot of the stuff that I think is being debated happened on PayPal and if that information was just released it would be great uh, now as far as like Deceit. I, I I really I really don't know what to think at this point. I I uh, I, I do sincerely feel that that um, that they tried. There's still a lot of this story that we have no answers to because nobody's talking. Uh, I think I've probably made the first communication outside of you know um, relayed information back and forth, first direct communication with anybody regarding this scenario in a while. Um, and we still don't have uh, you know, direct answers. So, here are my thoughts. I do think that, um, I do think that there needs to be, I do think all of the information needs to be disclosed. I think Bearing and uh, I think Failure were both right on this and that um, there might not be any sort of an issue with disclosing this information. So I'm not, I would, and it, and it was, I was told, you know, that we, they, uh, uh, by Base Mama and Ancestra that, that there couldn't be information disclosed because of legalities. And I'm like, well, I mean, if it's going to clear your name, you know, I, I, and also, you know, as I asked a question about, with me being a founder, you know, why can't I have more access to information about what's going on with the, with the funds? And granted, I'm a $150 founder, which is, I think, second tier, but um, still, they, um, the response again was the same, you know, it's, it's, um, it's confidential stuff and stuff we can't really release, I, I to the point, um, and I'm like, it would, I think it would be in your best interest. You know, the other thing that we have going on is, it's just a back and forth hearsay from what I'm seeing, and again, I, <coughs> excuse me, I take this with a grain of salt because I, I can't say that I know as much as what uh, Thomas knows, the information he's been provided from a lot of different sources. Uh, are definitely way more, way more, uh, I guess, accurate and, and uh, more informative than my information. My information just comes from the experience and just from the discussions that I've had. So, so, anyways, I, my whole conclusion with this is that I don't think that we're we're still in the same spot that we were before, as far as understanding. Until information is released, until these people can get together in public and discuss this information, and I know that people don't want to put Dave Cullen under the bus, um, and I do. I, I'll give Bering this. I think Bering and both um, Failure have both disclosed in that uh, that super chat or that chat, whatever. Um, that they did interview them, and so I'll have to take a look at that interview. I haven't seen it yet, so um, you know I. I can't judge yet on that. Uh, I can only have an opinion based off of what I know at this point. And I don't know much. I just know the things that you know I've been exposed to. Um, this is why I do entrust Thomas. You know, a lot of people go to him. I went to him. 
uh, because he covered it so much. He covers it well, and uh, and uh, again, you know, the, the whole the whole thing for me is I like I like facts. I want I want evidence. I want I want to see that evidence, and, and I we're not seeing it. We're not bring out that that PayPal information. Show us like you know put put do a live live screen capture. Do a screen capture. Log into PayPal. Show us the transactions that happened. Show us, show us where the fees, what fees are being shown. I mean, that at least I know what's going on with PayPal because I have like basic, basic PayPal account. I'm pretty sure that that would, what you got would mimic that. So if we're able to see that, that would that would solve a lot of mystery. Same thing with all the accusations about um, contacting uh, certain security people to get security on board, uh, email information. That can all be opened as well. One thing I did with Thomas was this. I, when I got the email, I got an email that I sent to him, uh, a founder's email, because he wanted to compare it with other ones that they all had different wording. And it did, it did come out later uh, from Sestra that there was a couple of different wordings in there. And I don't recall the reason why, but uh, it, it, there was. And when I did that, I said, well, I'm not just gonna send you an image. Anybody can doctor an image. And not to say that nobody can't doctor videos. I mean, there's videos out there to show you how to do that. Uh, but I think that technology is not mainstream, at least to my understanding. So I also sent him a screen capture where I just kept, I had a browser open, it was the Pale Moon browser, and I had my email open. I went, you know, and I navigated through, I went back like I was going into my inbox, clicked Control R, and I did it on the screen as well to just refresh it, uh, just so he knows there's no, um, you know, I don't have like a uh, an editor uh, editing, uh, 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 temporarily editing information, data on the screen. Um, and then I would open up the email and then I would refresh that so that way he knows, okay, this is, this is legit. This is not a, this is not something that's doctored. And then I sent that footage to him. I would suggest that in this case on every single thing that is still unanswered. That's my opinion. So do I feel... Has my, has my sentiment changed in regards to what I think about um, uh, mishandling of funds and everything? No, I do think that there is mishandling of funds at this point. Um, I'm sorry, but uh, based on when we did talk, you brought up the PayPal fees, and I was like, okay, well, uh, you know, you, 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 you saw that there was a lot of PayPal fees. You, I think you said $20,000 in PayPal fees. And then I kind of did the math on, and, I, and granted, you know, I'm looking at old PayPal calculators. Uh, and it says like the max that can be taken out is like only like 2,900 out of that 8,500, 85,000, I guess 2.9% 2 .9 or 3% or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. You know, if there's other fees in there that nobody knows about, you know, just, just relay the specifics, I think that would clear your name. If there's something that PayPal, uh, re, you know, refund fees, I, I, I have no idea. Maybe there's like some sort of a specialty fee because of the situation. I have no idea. Nobody has any idea. And this is why I think it's a great idea to clear your name if you feel like you need to. Um, and at the same time, do I feel like you guys did try? Yes, I do. I, I do sincerely believe that. When I was there, I caught... I caught an air of frustration, defeat, um, partial success, you know, for what you guys felt, you know, you at least put it on. Um, you know, you had all of these things that happened um, uh, that you, you know, during the event, um, but it still doesn't discount the, the issues that are going on. So uh, those are my suggestions and those are my current thoughts. Um, what are your guys' thoughts? I know that some people were not satisfied with my answers, but uh, because I think that they wanted me to be a little bit more critical on Base Mama. I can't be critical of somebody when everything is still speculative. Speculative. I, you know, uh, in the case of Mundane Matt, that wasn't. You know, in the case of Mundane Matt and me, you know, uh, uh, where he basically is saying that I'm a liar about what had happened, and then I totally proved him wrong in my last video with evidence, um, that I'm hard on. That I'm hard on because I had the information. We don't have much information here. And again, I will probably be talking, I will, not probably, I will definitely be talking to Thomas. I still want to dig into the notes uh, a little deeper. I don't want hypotheticals. I, you know, to, to in my head, you know, I, hypotheticals just don't do anything for me. Um, especially when it comes to the lives of others. So um, whether people hate, whether people hate Base Mama, 
That's that's that's, that's their thing. If they want to hate on her and hate her, but you don't hate people and you don't put people under the bus just because, just because they're there. It's things are brewing in my head where it's like, okay, well maybe Sister Danger did all this. And again, Sister Danger, I'm not accusing you of anything at this point, but you know, you know what I mean. I mean, there's this. It, I'm thinking realistically here. I'm not just pointing the finger at somebody. I want to see evidence, and I think I asked for that a little bit. Uh, from you and you did say you'd be more than willing to you know uh, provide some of that so that is going to be much appreciated so in that sense you have a little bit more credibility at this point than base mama um, but again you know I, I evidence is first I'm, I don't jump on the bandwagon to uh, witch hunt people and uh, and sure Sure, I did initially. I, I was very critical of what had happened with the organizing or organizers and the organization of the whole thing. Um, but you know, I, I I've calmed down since then, and I went to experience it. I saw it there. It definitely appeared. It didn't initially appear like it was much, but it you know, looking back on it, it, it appears like okay, maybe. I'm not gonna say it's a forty thousand dollar event. I wouldn't assume that. I would probably say maybe. <laughs> 15 to 20? I don't know. I'm not an event coordinator in that respect. I've helped put on some, a couple of powerlifting shows back in the day with a friend. Um, <clears throat> that's the extent of my uh, understanding of it. And I understand how hard it, how, how diff difficult it is. You, have, you really do have to know what you're doing. Um, you know, so it's kind of like people saying, oh, I can build a website, but you know, I know the intricacies of web development. You know, I'm a full stack developer, so I, I, I understand the intricacies. Yeah, oh, why are you so expensive? My nephew can make it for cheap or whatever. I got, I can do this on Wix. Fuck you, Wix. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess you, I guess you can. I guess you can, but you're not going to get the customization that I can give you. You're not going to get the ease of, of confidence of the, of the platforms that I use, of the content management systems that I use, uh, that are mainstream, that I, that they have a, the, that have an entire world, um, support on it. If you're going to do this on your own, you're going to die pretty quick, uh, especially with the way the changing world is. And so that's that's what I think about when people say, oh, I can put on this event as well. Well, you really can't. You can say that. You can say that. But it's a little disingenuous because you know that there's a lot more to it than not, uh, than what you're fronting. So anyways, those are my thoughts. What are you guys' opinions on my, on my stance um, regarding Base Mama and Sestra and the, organiz the organization of Kilroy. <clears throat> the only, I think, I think my biggest frustration out of the whole thing was um, Mundane Matt, and it didn't even have to come to that, you know, he just kind of blurted my name out there. He started it. I don't have to approach him for anything. I don't. I, you know, he could, he, it was his job to come to me if he really wanted to apologize. He never did. He's a bigger name than I am. He, tar he tarnished my name by that false accusation um, with his evidence, his witnesses, his eight witnesses, or six or eight witnesses, or whatever, um, yeah, just goes to show you, sometimes witnesses, uh, sometimes they're not all that great, right? Sometimes you gotta ask the source, right? You might as well have that show called Reliable Sources and have your name on it, instead of uh, that one ball-headed guy that looks like Jason Alexander, right? You're gonna be on CNN's Reliable Sources, Mundane Matt. That's where I see you in the future with the way that you gather evidence. Anyways, that's the only tip I really had this weekend. Um, my Kilroy event. There, are, yeah, I'm sorry. There are a couple again, you know, unanswered questions. Um, I do think they're trying to find a cop out in regards to not providing the information. That's my gut feeling, but I also do feel that they did a sincere job in trying to organize it with what they had and the limited time that they had. So I give them credit for that. Other than that, uh, your guys' thoughts. What are? Did you guys watch the interview? Did you watch my reaction with evidence video to mundane Matt? and how he still has not addressed it. Um, anyways, your thoughts, I, I, I really enjoy the support. Uh, I also enjoy the criticism, so keep that coming. You know, if you guys know stuff I don't, um, that you say, oh, no, 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 there is information out on this, um, let me know, uh, provide that to me. I, I, I'm not perfect, and you know, I, I, I do forget a lot, so <laughs> um, anything that you provide, I would definitely appreciate. Uh, that would guide me in the right direction, and maybe it is that Base Mama did do something and there's stuff out there that you guys have uh, that is out there so uh, or anybody else so hope you guys all have a great day I'm getting ready to start the work day right now and I will talk to you guys later